Hey guys, in the last video I mentioned a few different options to be able to start the server, run the tests on one command. So the first thing we're going to be trying is this library right here. and Basically it's just a little utility that will run two commands. So we're going to install it and then what we have to do is we're going to add a new script in our package.json. So let's copy this and let this download real quick. So I'm going to say yarn add as a dev dependency. So capital dash D and let that go. And so then in our package.json in scripts, we're gonna add a CI, or you could call it whatever you like. And we're gonna put um, the name of the package. And then here we're gonna specify the name of our um, NPM command to start the server, which is gonna be uh, whatever we have in scripts. And then after that, we specify the uh, URL. So this is where your server is running. And then lastly, the NPM command to start the test. All right, so let's look at package.json, go to our scripts and add that stuff. So I'm gonna call it CI. And then to run our server, we say test server. And then we are running on localhost 4000. And lastly, we just run test. That's our command to run test, uh, to run jest, I mean. All right, so let's try this out. If I do yarn um, CI, it should go ahead and start up the server. Um, and then after that, run the tests. And then we can just close it all down afterwards and be done. So you can see the server is running, localhost 4000, awesome. And here we can see our test is now running. Um, and then when that's finished, cool, it's passed, we're all done. I can control C out and we're done. So that's a pretty good option. It's a little bit slow. As you may imagine, it took six seconds to run the jest test, which I guess um, there's nothing we can do about there. That's probably just how long it takes to drop the database. Um, but then also to start up the server, we're doing a lot of duplicate work. So what I wanted to try was this thing called super test. And what it allows you to do is just pass in your express object. So here's express. Um, they say const app is equal to express, and we use request app, and then we can make requests. Now, GraphQL Yoga uses Express under the hood, so I thought this might work. And when I was debugging this, I uh, almost got it to work. But I actually stumbled upon something I like even better just because of how simple it is. I found this little gist, which I'll link. Um, and we're going to use basically a very small part of it um, that works nicely for testing with GraphQL Yoga. Basically, when we uh, run app start, uh, we can just pass the port of zero and then I'll go ahead and uh, I'll show you we can pass in the server address um, and then this thingy right here but I'll explain that all right now all right so to do this in our index.js what we need to do is conditionally um, specify the port so here I'm gonna say port and I'm gonna say process.environment and we're gonna get the node environment so if we're testing we want to do port 0, otherwise we want port 4000. All right, so now we're going to conditionally start it. And I also now need to save this. So I'm going to say, we'll call it app. And I'm going to return the app. So now I'm going to call start server over here. So I'm going to say const, um, I'm going to call it app is equal to start server and I'm gonna need to await that. You'll notice I got rid of the create type form connection. The reason for that is we're already creating the connection here, so we don't need to create it twice. Um, the other thing, we're returning this, that's perfect. Um, there's one small problem with running it like this though, and we'll see that problem if I were to like run this right now and that is a start server dot 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 when we import it right here um, and we can close these guys it's gonna run this start server here and then it's gonna call start server so basically it's gonna be run twice um, because we're calling it here and we're importing it and when we import it it's getting called so really what we need to do is create a new file um, and maybe yeah we'll just create a new file called um, start server .ts. and I'm just going to move the uh, the logic so all this stuff 
to start server. Um, and I'm just going to ex export that, and so then I'm going to call it here. Okay. So now in our start server, the whole purpose was that is that we don't have the function call in this file. So now when I call index.ts over here, we're still starting the server because we're calling start server. Um, but now over here, I am not calling it. So all right, so I have this app. So now I want to get the port, and we just need to import this from a different location now. So there we go. So const. And I'm going to say port is equal to app dot address. Okay, and really what we need to have is the port be. I'm going to say so before I was saying the host was uh, constant. I now need to create basically a little function here, where I'm going to say const, um, and I need to say const get port. Or I'll say I'll call it get host, um, and by default it's gonna return an empty string. Um, but I'm gonna set get host equal to. So we're gonna make this um, let. That way we can redefine this function. So I'm gonna say get host is now equal to a string, and this string is going to be HTTP one two seven. Dot zero dot dot one, and then at the end port. So the port is actually going to change every time we run this. So that's why we need to get app dot address at least when it's um, when we specify the port of zero. All right. So we have this. We set our get host function, and so here instead of just using the hard coded host, we're going to use get host. Uh, there might be a better way to do this. Um, um, specifying the port here and whatnot, uh, but this is, should work um, because before all should finish running before everything. But uh, yeah, let's give this a try. So just, oops, not just, just yarn test. So didn't start up any server. We're just basically um, letting all of our test code run and. Nice. So it went ahead and passed. It worked. Awesome. Um, and now we didn't even have to start up a server. Well, at least externally. We just run that one command with this. So this is the way I like it. And I think I have basically a decent um, setup for now doing tests and how I'm going to be doing tests in the future. Um, we can go ahead and just clean up a little bit of the code so we don't need this common anymore. And in our package.json, we can kill both of these and then also we can just uh, uninstall that library because we don't actually need it so you could use this if you want to I'm gonna do it this way just do yarn remove to get rid of that package and then we have testing working pretty nicely uh, I'm not sure how I I want to kind of like share this code across multiple um, I guess tests um, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do that quite yet, but basically like if I create right now This is register.test if I create I don't know login.test uh, I don't want to basically run I guess I guess I'm going to export my before all logic um, Into like a function that I can call multiple places or maybe I need to create like a global before all uh, If there's a way to do that. So I'll have to look at Jest and check that out. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching